Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us for the third instalment of the CFO Academy series. Um, firstly, just to go through a little bit of the agenda uh, for this morning, um, we will be uh, taking you through an introduction to board. Um, and Philip, our presenter, will uh, go through board, tell you what's unique about it. The majority of the webinar will be, however, focused uh, providing you on a demonstration. And we'll also have uh, some time for questions at the end, as well as a, a short survey as you leave. Uh, just in the last two webinars, Jonathan and Martha discussed uh, the need to be able to react to change and quickly plan and forecast for the future with accuracy. So today we're excited to be able to actually show you the solution and, uh, and dive into how it was done. So without further ado, I'll hand over to uh, Philip de Harcourt, who's one of our lead consultants, and he can take you through your first look at board. So over to you, Philip. Thank you very much, Scott. Okay, um, and good morning, everybody. As Scott said, I um, want to talk briefly about um, board, the, the, the company, and uh, what's unique about the product. Uh, before actually diving into a demo. Okay, um, Board's a uh, Swiss company. They were founded in the mid-90s. Uh, they've got over 2,500 customers worldwide and last year 25% growth. Uh, I'm pointing this out because I want to emphasize that there's really strong growth, uh, mainly due to the fact that they've got a fantastic product. Um, we actually think that the product's about five years ahead of the rest of the market. Uh, board's clients range from very large corporates through to small organizations, just a handful of users. Um, this slide has just got a, a selection of clients. A couple of things I want to point out is that, uh, as you can see, they span all industries. Um, there's some really good uh, name brand clients here, uh, TNT, DHL, AAMI, DuPont, and so on. Obviously. You know, putting together a slide like this, you're going to emphasize the name brand clients. As I said, plenty of organizations use uh, Board, which is a handful of users. Okay, what does Board do? In a nutshell, it unifies business intelligence and performance management into the one product. Um, all in one is its uh, catchphrase. Um, and as you can see here, we do everything from uh, reporting, say, uh, financial or operational reporting all the way through to, to strategy management and everything in between. Uh, another way to look at this, this is the type of environment we see at a lot of our clients. They've got all of these challenges and needs. Um, if they can be addressed by a um, solution, it's generally a number of solutions, a number of products and modules. Um, you've got problems integrating all of these products together. You end up with different silos of data, um, a different version of the truth. At the practical level, if you want to change something, you have to end up touching three or four different systems. Um, the danger is you end up back with spreadsheets uh, because of the complexity and the cost of managing all of these systems. Where board comes in is that it's all in one. Everything, all of those needs and challenges are met by one piece of software. Okay, um, another way of looking at this is um, in the worldwide environment of this type of product, there's really just five uh, product suites that have full capabilities around BI and performance management. You've got Cognos, Oracle, SAP, SAS, and Board. Um, Board is the only one with a single product. The other ones might say they have a single product, but it's more of a marketing concept. Um, you actually look in detail and you find that there's a number of different products acquired over the years by these software mega vendors and coupled together. And you end up with the same integration problems. Um, the other thing I'd also point out is that um, certainly dealing with Oracle or SAP and Cognos, the price tag is extremely high. Um, okay, Board's got a, a couple of front ends. Um, obviously, you can uh, install it on your PC or laptop, just like a normal application. Uh, it runs over the, um, the web for remote users. Um, there's a lot of different Office add-ins through uh, PowerPoint, Word, Excel. So um, 
if you're a, uh, a really keen Excel user, you can continue to use Excel and Excel will talk to board and back and forth. Uh, finally, it works on all sorts of uh, mobiles and tablets and so on. Okay, so to, to sum up our slides, what's board doing? We're, we're taking multiple data sources, it's a business intelligent product, it will, it will talk to any type of data source, pulling them all together and allowing you to produce uh, reporting, alerting, scorecards, dashboards, business intelligence style uh, reporting. But it doesn't stop there. It also allows you to write back with the, the budgeting planning functionality, write back with workflow and audit capabilities attached to it. Um, integrates to Office as well, so you're not uh, limited to just using uh, the board front end, you can uh, work in other applications. And that's over the top of it, you've got a rules engine that allows you to do things like if your margins go down, um, board will send out an email to the person responsible, so it's event-driven alerts. But the final point, uh, quite important, is that all of this is within a rapid deployment, programming-free, drag-and-drop, self-sufficient uh, application. Um, you're not... Uh, stuck with coming back to expensive consultants at, at every turn when you want to do something with the, the product. Okay, so that uh, there's a, a little bit of an overview of the, the company and the product. Let's have a look at, at the product. Okay, this is the um, uh, a, a sample central portal for board. Um, each of these buttons will, will open up another screen and you can go from there. Um, and as you can see, you've got um, operational things, uh, logistics, human resources, sales and marketing. You've got um, you know, performance management, your, your budgeting and planning, um, consolidation and so on. And you've also got reporting, business intelligence reporting with uh, dashboards, scorecards and, and so on. It's all on the one application. Um, click on the area you want and you'll, it'll take you off to there. So let's have a look at a, a quick uh, demonstration of, say, the, uh, the sales reporting. Let me just find the appropriate screen. Uh, this isn't a, um, a PowerPoint, by the way, it's actually the application, that will do. Okay, so um, we've got a nice dashboard type screen. Um, I'll spend a couple of minutes just showing you some of the, the, the features. Um, Firstly, um, I can filter on any of these. So, for instance, if I take a couple of product groups, it recasts the rest of the information on this page with those filters. I'll just unfilter. I can drill down. Say I can um, drill down to a customer and it shows me all the customers. I can, uh, having now drilled down, I could um, sort find out why we gave this guy a gigantic discount and maybe drill again. And notice I can drill on any entity. It's not trying to force me into looking at the information in one particular way. It's leaving it up to me. Again, the self-sufficiency. So I might say, well, okay, let's have a look at the salesman. So it's one guy. Obviously, he's the guy who's giving the, um, the margin away. I'm not limited to, to drilling down just within these uh, data areas. I can also have a look at um, any single object. So you can see as I hover over the graph, the charts, uh, I'm seeing information. And again, I can um, drill down on that graph and interrogate it further. Um, any of my screens here, I can drop out to Excel. And the interesting thing about um, exporting to Excel is that it's not just a dump of the text to Excel. This is actually connected to board. I can connect, change my numbers here, come back into here and see an update. So it's two-way. And the same uh, goes with the um, other um, Office applications. Um, you'll also notice there's little um, uh, comment marks on here. Well, it's got the ability to, to add in, uh, attach any type of file, be it just a text file, an Excel spreadsheet, PDF, images, 
and so on at any level of the, of the product. I could do it at the product group level, the product level. Um, in this case, we've actually attached images at the product level so we can see what we're, um, we're talking about. All right, let's go back to the main screen. And what I've shown you there is good, solid business intelligence functionality. Any good, solid BI product will have that. Um, I'm just going to open up a blank page and we can start to have a look at a, a bit of underhood type of thing, um, actually constructing some of this stuff, just to show you how easy it is, how drag and drop, and how programming free the, the uh, environment is. So I'm, I'm going into edit mode. I'm going to drag a couple of objects onto the screen. I could drag a, uh, I can drag buttons on. Um, I can drag charts, um, pages, and so on. Really simple. Uh, let's go and drag a text object on here, dart object, and I right click and I can start to configure it. What this allows me to do is say, okay, within my um, board model, I've created um, a number of, of cubes to do with a number of areas that we're, we're modeling, and uh, I've got one called net value, which I might call actuals. And having chosen the data I want to see, I just need to say, okay, it's structured like this. How do I want to view it? Maybe I want to view columns by year, and I will uh, group the information by customer. And there we go. I've got the data already appearing for me. Now, that's nice. I can go a little bit further and say, okay, let's... let's um, compare that against another column of data. Uh, I might say, well, that was um, uh, actuals, so let's do budget. So there we go. Actuals, budget, this is starting to look good. I can uh, take my pager up here and configure that to say, well, let me see it by product group. And again, we're starting to build the type of information we saw on the previous screen very, very simply. Actuals budget, what I want, what else do I want to see? Maybe a variance. Okay, instead of having to come up with some uh, complex bit of coding, it's pretty simple. All I need to say is a column algorithm. Okay, first column is called A, the second is called B. My variance might be A less B. If I could spell correctly. Nice, and I can sort my variance, change column widths. Let's make it a little bit more obvious and do a little bit of alerting. So I can go in here and say, well, if it's less than zero, make it red. If the variance is greater, I make it green. There we go, and that makes it nice and, and obvious. Um, all right. So far, that's replicating what we saw on, on the, um, the sales dashboard we looked at before. But as we pointed out, board doesn't just stop at being able to report on the data. You can also write back and you can edit the data. Obvious choice is I want to be able to edit my budget column. All I need to do is go back into my layout and take the budget block and enable data entry. You notice it changes colour, it's now yellow, and I can change the figure. So make it 11,000, and so on. Um, I can also play with the, the format of this uh, screen. I can say, well, I'll go back into the layout again, go to the axes, and say, well, I want to see the data maybe by um, product and then customer, and change the grouping. So there's all my products, and I can expand them out, and so on. Um, I can pull, use these pager at the top to limit the data, and it's now starting to look much more useful. The other thing you'll notice that I changed a figure here on the budget. I can also change the budget figures at, at any level. It allows bottom-up 
or top down. So I can go here to the 4,300 and make that um, 6,000. And you notice it just changed all of the information there on the same ratio. So uh, very powerful. You can reforecast your budget and reforecast at the top level knowing that it's going to push down to the bottom level all the changes you're making. Let's say that again. Okay, um, let's think of a few other things I, I might want to do. Maybe I want to actually add comments into here. Again, that's, that's very easy to do. I just go back into the layout. We have the ability to be able to add comments at any level in um, board to, to any object, be it the, um, the customer or uh, the product, product group, into the actuals or the budget or so on. I'm going to add some customer comments. So I've added my block in for comments. Where do I want to attach it to? I want to attach it to the, the budget column. And notice that so far I haven't written a line of code. The only thing that I've had to write is A less B to work out the variance. So now I've got a little note icon in the top corner of my budget field and what I can do is I can then go in. This is just a text note that allows me to plug some notes in. I'm not limited to text. I could um, attach any type of file, um, PDF, image, Excel spreadsheet, Word document and so on. And also at any level I could have attached uh, notes or comments at the product level and, and so on. All right, um, we go back to that chart we saw before. It also had some graphs on there. I'll show you how easy it is to build a, a chart. Again, it's all drag and drop. I grab my chart object, I drag it down, resize it, and say, okay, what do I want to do? Maybe I want to um, uh, chart my budgeted sales. So basically, same way as I built the previous layout, go into layout, select what I want to choose. Uh, let me see, maybe uh, values. Work out how I want to display the, the data in the, in the chart. So go to axes, year, and maybe by product group in this case. Uh, what am I going to show as the main value in that values? And there's my finished chart. And as you can see, it's all linked together. If I go in and select individual product, it drills down on that. And also, if I click on that, it gives me the ability to drill down. So I could drill down to salesman and then you know, I see the, the rest of the data. OK, so that's given you a bit of an, an under the hood uh, look at board. Um, what are the other things that we can do with the, uh, the product? If I dive back into a uh, few PowerPoints, obviously we, we had a look at um, you know, areas around scorecards, KPIs, dashboards. Um, you can make it as visual and interactive and as beautiful looking as you want, and it's all drag, drop, quick and easy to develop. Um, we've done a lot of work around uh, reporting, um, either reporting uh, financial or operational through board or export it out into Excel or Word. As you can see, this is a multi-page Word document. The objects within the Word document are actually linked back to the board database. So of course, uh, when your figures change, you don't need to go to your uh, month-end reports and hurriedly change a whole lot of figures. You just need to refresh the report. It talks to the board, gets the latest figures, and uh, you're right to print it out, and you're done. So another area, cash flow modeling. Um, we can start looking at, at, at uh, processes with a lot of complex rules around it that previously you might be struggling with with a number of Excel spreadsheets or not even attempting. We've also got, of course, um, you know, primary budgeting, forecasting, planning, uh, and we've done a, a lot of work in that area. Again, um, you know, uh, we've got 
a visual ability to create a very visual uh, environment that's easy to follow. Uh, we've got the ability to um, do top-down and bottom-up reporting, um, and uh, auditability and workflow and other functionality like that. Um, finally, boards also used quite a bit for high-level, long-term and strategic planning. So not just uh, reporting and budgeting and forecasting. We can go right up the, the value chain here. Okay, I hope that um, has got you interested in board. Um, I might hand over to Scott at this point and see if we've got any uh, questions. I'd just like to also mention our uh, recently started LinkedIn group for our CFO Academy. So everybody's invited to join that uh, if you haven't already. Uh, we'll be posting exclusive content and uh, you'll have first access to upcoming events uh, and that sort of thing from the groups. Okay, the other thing I'd, I'd probably say is that um, obviously we've just shown you the, the tip of the iceberg with what the product can do. In 15 minutes, um, you're really just you know, covering the 1%. Um, quite interested in, in finding out from um, uh, the various people listening to this webinar where your interests lie. This is a very broad product, does quite a number of things. Uh, I'd love to be able to come back and talk about something in specific, um, and that's basically the reason why we've um, we've attached a, a survey to the end of this webinar. Uh, I want to know where your interests lie, be it um, in more the business intelligence, forecasting, strategic planning, something more unusual like um, uh, say the the cash flow modelling, or any of the other uh, capabilities we've uh, touched on that that board can do. And uh, looking forward to hearing from uh, anyone if they have any questions. Thank you.